everyone, Ian here at Able City in Burbank, and today I'm checking out the Ingenue 44 to 440 anamorphic zoom. Now this is part of the uh, line of anamorphic zooms from Ingenue that include the 56 to 152 and the 30 to 73. This is a very unique lens because it is uh, an anamorphic zoom. However, it's slightly different in that it has its anamorphic uh, optics in the back of the lens. We're used to, you know, op anamorphic lenses having these large uh, optical units at the front. It almost looks like a prism and they are projecting that image onto our sensor so they can be de-squeezed and give us the proper anamorphic aspect ratio on playback. So you have that aspect of the lens, which is kind of unique because the optics for that anamorphic are in the back. It allows us to take that uh, out and this lens can become a spherical lens. When it's an anamorphic lens, it's T4.5 all the way through and closest focus is four feet one inch. If we choose to take the anamorphic back off, put the spherical on, the lens now becomes a 25 to 250 and it's a T3.5. Now, if you change it over to a spherical lens, Keep in mind, this is an optical bench operation. So not only are we changing out the optics, but we're also gonna change the focus, the zoom, and the iris ring as well. Today, I wanna concentrate on a special type of anamorphic back that's been installed on here that allows us to get a blue streak. So we uh, lit here in the studio and uh, my intern Josh helped out and he's gonna be sitting in for me and we're gonna play some footage that we shot. I intentionally lit him hot on one side because I wanna see the natural flare that comes from an anamorphic zoom. But I also asked him to take his uh, flashlight in his phone and go across frame because I wanted to see this blue streak. You're gonna see the blue streak whenever highlights uh, are in your frame. So this is ideal for sort of nighttime things, uh, headlights, anything that's gonna have a strong uh, source of light pointed at the lens, it will cause the blue flare to occur. I wanted to show you the back section of the lens and some of the features of it. So we have a PL mount that's held on by this lock ring here. There's two ways to, uh, or there's two mounts available for the lens, PL and Panavision. At the top, we have the uh, iCook technology contact points here, or the, uh, this transmits the lens data back to the camera. And then you have these four tiny screws on the optical pack itself. Now you can see right here, uh, that is the characteristic of the anamorphic design. That is the element that is squeezing the image into the proportions proper for uh, putting an anamorphic image onto a sensor. However, we can remove it by loosening these four screws and replacing it with the spherical element. And of course, we'd also have to replace the focus hours and zoom rings as well. It's important to note that it is possible to do this. However, it's really uh, something to be handled by a technician. It's not something that would be field switchable. That concludes my look at the Antonu 44 to 440 anamorphic zoom. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.